Hello everyone. In this video we will be covering how to take out a common factor. Taking out a common factor is one of the most basic and easiest to learn of the factorization methods. Now, first before we can start we need to know the definition of a term. The definition of a term. A term is a collection of numbers, variables and brackets tied together with multiplication and division and separated by addition and subtraction. There's not a very long definition, but the whiteboard just makes it look long. Now, why we need to know what a term is, is because we are going to be taking out what is the same in each term. So we need to know what a term is, so we know which places we are looking to take things out of. Let's look at this example. 2a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared minus 12a4b3c is equal to 0. So firstly, let's look at how many terms we have here. Here we have 2 times a3 times b. So this is all attached by a, a multiplication. So this is one term. And here we have separator. And then this is one term. And a separator. And this is one term. So we have three terms in this case. How we take out a common factor is that we look in each term and we see what is the same. So, in each of these terms, what can we say is in all of them? So, first we will look at the whole numbers. We have a 2, we have a 6, and we have a 12. So, I know that 2 is in each of these because I know 2 goes into 6 and I know 2 goes into 12 and that's the biggest number that goes into all of them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 2 and divide it out of this whole expression and then I'm gonna multiply it back in so I'm gonna leave it there now let's look at the a's let's see I have an a cubed and a squared and a 4 so I have um, a times a here, a times a times a here, and a times a times a times a here. So I know that I have an a squared inside an a4 and an a squared inside an a3. So a squared is the biggest thing I can take out from the a's, so I'm going to put it in here. Now let's look at the b's. I have a b, I have a b squared, and I have a b cubed. So I can take out a b out of all of these. And the C's, I only have a C here. I don't have a C here or here, so I can't take it out. Okay, this is all that I can take out. Now, what do I do? I open a big bracket. Now, brackets mean multiplication. So I have taken this out, and this says that I, I've, I'm multiplying it back in. Now, in the bracket, I am going to put what is left. So, from my first term, right, in my first term I took out the 2 and I took out an a squared and I took out a b. So what is left? So if I say this divided by this, the 2 I took out, the a cubed I took out an a squared, so I'm left with an a, and the b I took out. From the next term I took out a 2 and I had a 6, so I'm left with a, I have to put my plus in from here first, and then I'm left with a 3. The a squareds I took out, and I had a b squared, and I took out a b, so I'm left with a b. Now I'll put my minus in. Now let's see, I have a 12, I took out a 2, so I'm left with a 6. I had an a4, I took out an a squared, so I'm left with an a squared. I had a b cubed, I took out a b, so I'm left with a b squared, and I still have that c close my brackets is equal to 0. So we have not changed the value of the side of the equation because we have divided out this and we've left it out here which means multiply back in because a number in front of a bracket has to be multiplied back into that bracket. So all we have done is we have taken three terms and we have made it one term because now it's this times this times this times the whole bracket. So if we can't factorize anything else inside the brackets, in this case we can't because there are no other common factors and we don't know how to factorize that, we are now done. This is fully factorized. 
Now we are going to look at an example where the common term we take out is a bracket. But first we have to look at how to make brackets look the same. Let's say I have b minus c. I can make that c minus b by taking out a negative 1. So this is equal to minus, now let's see, if I take out a minus 1, I'm dividing. So minus, so positive b divided by the minus 1 becomes a minus b. And the minus c divided by the minus 1 becomes a positive c. And just rearranging those terms, I get c minus b. So I can make a b minus c look like c minus b by taking out a minus 1. This will be useful if we need to make brackets look the same so that we can make them common. Now, this worked because this is a power of 1. Now let's look at if this bracket was squared. If we have a square here, we don't need to take out a minus 1 to change the signs on the inside. What happens is, is that we take out this minus 1, but this squared also applies to the minus 1 we take out. And this is c minus b. And minus 1 squared is just positive 1. So this just becomes c minus b squared. So if we have a squared bracket, we can change the signs of what's inside, if we change the signs of everything that's inside without taking out a minus 1, because that minus 1 goes away, because two negatives will make a positive. Now, this works for every even power of your brackets. So if we have an even power of the bracket, we can make the inside negative without taking out a negative. If you want to think about it with the regular numbers, we know that minus 3 squared is equal to 3 squared, which is equal to 9. So if we change between minus 3 squared and 3 squared, we still get the same answer, so they are still the same thing. So if we have an odd number here, we have to take out a negative to change the inside, and if we have an even number, we don't. Now let's look at an example where we have to take a common bracket out. Now let's look at this example. Now we have a b minus c here, and we have a c minus b. So I can make this c minus b look like this b minus c. And it's a squared bracket, so I don't actually need to take out a negative to change the signs of everything on the inside. So we get a squared b minus c minus 2a cubed b minus c squared is equal to 0. And now those brackets are common, and now we're going to take out a common factor. So let's look in each term what is the same. Here I have an a squared, and here I have an a cubed. So I can take out an a squared. Here I have a b minus c, and here I have a b minus c squared, so I can take out a b minus c. And let's see what we're left with. Now I'm going to make big square brackets. Why I'm making the square brackets so that they don't get confused with these round brackets. We will collapse the square brackets later. So what are we left with from this term? We took out the a squared, we took out the b minus c, so we're not left with 0. We are left with 1. Because if I multiply this back in, it must give me that. You can think about it as this divided by this will give me 1. We don't remove the whole thing with subtraction, we do it with division. So we end up with 1. Now let's look with this term. We're left with the minus still. Now 2, I didn't take the 2 out. a squared was taken out, and we had an a cubed. So we're left with one of the a's. And b minus c squared, we're left with b minus c is equal to 0. Now there's nothing left we can do in the bracket in terms of factorization, but what we need to do is collapse these brackets. So we need to multiply this in so that this whole thing is just terms in a bracket. So we get 1 minus 2ab plus 2ac is equal to 0. Remember that this minus needs to be distributed into the bracket, so that's how we end up with a minus here and a plus there. And this is my fully factorized form, there's nothing else we can do. And this is how we take out a common factor when we have brackets. We need to leave our answer with only one set of brackets, so we need to multiply in 
whatever's in the brackets, the big square brackets, so that we can close the big square brackets and turn them back into round brackets. I hope you all now understand how to take out a common factor. This is very useful in factorization and sometimes they'll give this to you in the beginning of a factorization question and you won't be able to do the other techniques without doing this first. So it is very important. Happy studying guys!